So let's talk about the client boot up process and take a look at that using Observer. The HCP Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a network protocol that is used to configure devices which are connected to networks so that they can communicate and transfer all the data across this IP network. It involves clients and servers that are running the DHCP process. The client's request configuration setting information using the DHCP protocol and at a minimum it needs to request its IP address, its subnet mask, the default gateway or router, and one or more DNS servers. Once this process completes using the DORA, D for discover, O for offer, R for request, A for act, so I remember that little acronym with DORA the Explorer. Once the DORA process completes, the client then can implement those settings and is now able to, com to communicate across the IP network. The DHCP server maintains a database of available IP addresses and configuration information and when it receives that discover request from the client, the server determines the network that the client is connected to and allocates the appropriate IP address information and sends that appropriate configuration information to the client. Again, looking at that in Observer, we see the clients and the discover request in the very first packet. If we look at the discover, we see the server is, or the client, sorry, is sending the discover message to the server and the server is offering uh, the subnet mask, the renewal time, the rebinding time, how long the client actually gets to lease this address, the server itself's IP address, the router, the this is the actual router default gateway that the server is telling the client to use. We then see the client make the request for those parameters, the requested IP address, the server information, the parameter list, and the server acts the client with you know you can now use that information and again we can see that takes on the network 40 milliseconds for that process to complete we see the DHCP ACK we see the lease time is 14 uh, sorry 288 seconds so that means our renewal time will be 14 for half of the lease time we see the DHCP servers IP address we see the subnet mask 255-255-255-192 or a 26-bit mask. We see the default gateway or the router option 171-68-162-193. So we should see an ARP request for that particular IP address. And we see the DNS server, the primary and secondary dot seventy and dot one forty. So we look at the next packet from the client and we see it sends an ARP request for dot .193, the default gateway, and we can see that that takes no time, less than a millisecond for the, the router to respond back to the client. So we can see that the network is pretty doggone fast, at least the local network. We then see the client send the query, the DNS query, and let's just time that. We see that the client sends the query looking for a name of www.eiadata.com. We see a response come back and again less than a millisecond. Oh my goodness, the network is slow. Kidding. But that's usually what we hear all the time and we've just proved that the network is really pretty darn fast. And here's the IP address that uh, equates to that name so the client is now going to start a connection to that IP address so we see if we change our view to IPs that the the client is going to send a request to 216.147.81.250 the sync request to start a connection to the web server listing service port 80 and if we set our time there we see that that zero so it takes 21 milliseconds round trip to start a connection request to 
that particular server service. And again, we see the ARP response. The router replied back with, here's its MAC address. And if we change our view back, we see that this, the client sends its sync request to the same MAC address that replied because that particular web server is not on its local subnet. So this is the basic startup process that devices use, IP devices. Again, booting up, they send their discover. The, the server sends the offer. The client makes the request for that information. Server sends the ACK. Our DORA process completes. We know that that takes 40 milliseconds. Again, the next thing that the client must do is resolve its default gateway. So we see it ARP. We noticed that was zero time as far as that process. At that point, the client opened up its browser, typed in www.eiadata.com, made the DNS request. Again, zero time, less than a millisecond to get an answer from the server and then to start the connection across the internet to that particular web server service took 21 milliseconds. So after the web server service gets started then we see it send the get information for that default home page. We see the server find that information and, and reply. And we can also kind of prove right here if we set our time on the get that it takes the, the remote server about 20 milliseconds to act that it's received that request and then it's got to go find the content and, and send the information back. So once again 20 to 21 milliseconds for the network round trip time and the server to actually begin replying. So that's the DHCP process in a nutshell. Hopefully you're more confident.